Hello friends, I am Laneha Junsu. Welcome to my channel that is all about enhancing what you have. Today I am going to share uh, ghost stories that have been sent by you guys. And if you or someone you know has gone through any paranormal experience, then don't forget to share it with us on my Instagram, which is Laneha Junsu underscore. So I can read it here and share it with everyone. So yeah, let's get started so today's story is by farah again like if you have seen the last part she shared two of her stories and today in this part we are going to share another of her stories next thing happened in 2012 2012 it was 13th of august and that day me and my siblings had spent all day cleaning the house and decorating the poles with small flags uh, because 14th August is the Independence Day. So around afternoon, we placed jar pies, or you can say bed, on soaked cemented hall and sat down and were gossiping until my sister said, Farah, where are these ants coming from? I noticed it then. There were many ants on the bed on which I was sitting. And suddenly, my another sister pointed, look down we all looked and saw a piece of fresh meat which was black and bloodied Farah has also shared that she has witnessed red slashes on her mother's forearms appearing out of nowhere and few blood streaks dripping down her waist so this is an anonymous story now this girl got possessed when she was a kid so i will be taking you know talking a bit slowly because it's in urdu so i will be translating as i talk so uh, she said that she was uh, she got possessed when she was a kid and she used to get sick a lot and then they went to this uh, woman and they said that once i turn seven he will leave me alone and she said that come back to her like the woman who uh, told them that your kid is possessed that woman said that once she's going to get married before that uh, please come back and ask me again and I asked her that did you see any stuff and she said no but I was too small to remember any today but my mother and elder siblings tell me that I used to get sick to the point that I needed to get in hospitals and also I was three year old when I was alone in the hall and I was alone for a while that everyone heard my shrieks. When they came to me, I was drenched with hot tea while the cup was still perfectly placed on the counter. She still has the burnt marks. Also the auntie that they went to told them that that Jen has been with her ever since she was born. He somehow admired her. So Anonymous, thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Now we're going to move on to another story. So this story has been shared by one of my army friends, like who love BTS. Uh, her name is Mayuri Ashwarya. So I'm going to share her story with all of you. Hey! Hey. So I am a spiritual person. I like to chase things we can't see but can feel them. So when our house was under construction, we had an accident while bringing the tiles. It's Sangam Ravari. I don't know its English name. Maybe it's marble. So they were bringing marble tiles at their home. So these tiles are extremely heavy that it's basically a rock and we received the 80 pieces of it. And while taking it down, they lost their control and the tiles fall on two workers. One of them died on the spot and another one died in hospital. I'm so sorry. From that day, we never had any paranormal experience for four years. But when I was in ninth standard, I was sleeping in my room and I felt someone caressing my face. I saw a hand and shirt which was ripped and covered with blood stain. I was sleeping on the right side and I was sleep paralyzed. So I wasn't able to see who was there but after some time I checked everywhere there was no one in my room 
and from that day I lost control on my body. I always felt a presence with me. My mom is a teacher and she didn't believe in such things but she said she don't want to remember that period and it was so terrible that she was so scared of me because I used to scream and tried to jump from the terrace but strangely I don't remember anything of it. My uncle is a religious person so he took me to a Guruji in Bangalore. He just prayed for me and told me to be a strong person. It's something like that I called them. So if I asked them to come, that's why I had to ask them to go back to their world. Them are the ghosts. Okay. And I tried doing this for one year and after one year, I feel very free and happy. I don't know how I called them where I did wrong but after that incident, I'm totally crazy about spirits and energies. I want to see them before I die and I will. I can't believe that this happened to me and I wasn't able to see it. That's it. This is my story about energy. Good one. So everyone, thank you so much for sharing your stories and I hope rest of you enjoyed watching these stories and i will see you guys next time with another ghost story videos don't forget to share your stories my dm is open for all of you okay bye bye take care